next question. How to curb the habit of being a people pleaser? Isa pa tong paborito kong tanong. Now, here's the thing. Wala namang masama if you are that kind of person who tries to bring light into the room or if you're passionate about doing favors for others because you just genuinely want to see other people happy. There's nothing wrong with that, ha? You know kung kailan siya pumapasok sa dangerous territory? It's when you keep on giving too much of yourself to the point the feeling mo na lalamangan or naiisahan ka na. In this case, sa mindset pa rin talaga ang simula. Lagi mong tatandaan na mahirap magmahal or magalaga ng ibang tao kung hindi mo muna mahal ang sarili mo. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell you gonna love somebody else? Dito sa Pilipinas, pero tayong paboritong kasabihan, di ba? Yung isusubo mo na lang ibibigay mo pa sa pamilya mo or ibibigay mo pa sa ibang tao. And somehow, collectively, as a culture, we have made that definition of sacrifice as something acceptable and even heralded as something aspirational. Ako po, personally, I don't agree. After a while, magugutom ka eh. Paano ka pa makakatulong sa iba? Mahirap na. Make sure na puno ka yung puso mo, yung pagkatao mo, lahat ng pangangailangan mo ay napupunan so that out of that excess, you're giving to others. That is being generous too, ha? And that is the kind of generosity that is sustainable. Yung walang bigat sa dibdib at pag ganon, you will not end up presenting yung mga taong tinutulungan mo. Next question. Will you still accept your previous partner for 11 years after one year of breaking up? Ay, depende yan. Ang tanong, nagbago na ba siya? Doon ba sa isang taon na hindi kayo magkasama, sigurado ka ba na yung mga problema nyo dati, hindi mo na may experience? One year is just not a long enough time for a person's values to change. Because if you've been together for 11 years, ibig sabihin, you know this person inside and out. Not to say that there's no room for growth, ha? Kasi posible din naman talaga na magbago pa itong partner mo. Pero kung 11 years na hindi pa nagbabago, baka siya na talaga yun. Meron akong paborito kasabihan galing kay Maya Angelou. Sabi niya, when people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Eto ngayon, kunyari gusto mo talaga makipagbalikan. Pwede naman, pero wag mo asahan na siya magbago. Ikaw dapat ang magbago. Be the kind of person who is willing to accept and even embrace all of his or her shortcomings. Dapat tanggap mo siya ng buo na kahit ulit-ulitin pa man din niya yung mga kasalanan na nagawa niya in the past, make sure that you're going to be willing to forgive at yung self-respect mo ay hindi rin napabawasan. O, next question tayo. Sabi dito, How do you deal with a legal leader na magkaiba kayo ng principles in life. And since leader daw siya, ang role daw niya talaga ay sundin siya at pupunahin niya ang lahat ng pangit sa akin. Why it's so difficult to confirm an appointment? No, I'm so sorry, Miranda. I actually did the confirm last night. Your incompetence do not interest me. Hala, uy, maraming ganun leader siya. Sa totoo lang, kahit sa kompanya ka naman magpunta, bihirang bihira yung makakahanap ka ng leader na 100% ha, 100% ng values ninyo ay aligned. There will always be differences in the way that you perceive things. Kasi magkaiba kayong tao at magkaiba ang pagpapalaki sa inyo. And that's perfectly fine. Yun nga lang, ang tanong, yung bang difference nyo sa values is the disparity so big na imposible na for you to make the relationship work? Because if that is the case, or if your integrity is on the line, then you have to make a decision. Pero kung hindi naman ganun kaseryoso yung pinagkakaibahan ninyo ng values, and you still want to stay in that relationship, then the next question should be, how can you bear it better? May magagawa ka. Shift your focus from where you are different to where you are the same. Pareho ba kayo ng passion? Pareho Pareho ba kayo na gustong mag-succeed? Pareho ba kayo na gustong umasenso? Even though there are differences, pero din naman kayong pinagkakasunduan. And then next, I want you to focus on this. What can you get out of the relationship? May nakukuha ka ba? May sinasabi ba siyang tama? May naituturo ba siya sa'yo na siya lang ang pwede makapagturo? And whatever you decide to do, make sure that it's what's best for you, it's fair to the company as well, and that you always show respect. This fact! 
to your leader or mentor. Dahil lahat naman tayo, kahit iba-iba ang values natin, all of us deserve respect. Minimum requirement yun. Last question. Ito naman ay may kinalaman sa relationships. Ang tanong niya ay, how do you make long-distance relationships work? Dito ay umaga at dyan ay gabi. Specifically those na nag-start na LDR na talaga. First of all, LDRs are hard work. Mahirap sa talaga. So, kailangan expect mo na that this is not going to be an easy relationship. Well, to begin with, wala naman na talagang relationships na sobrang dali. Lahat ng klase ng relationship, mapa-LDR man yan o hindi, kailangan ng effort. Are you willing to exert the effort? Is the guy worth it? If your answer to that question is yes, pag-usapan natin kung paano pwedeng mas maging successful ang isang long-distance relationship. Please recognize that it's going to be nearly impossible for you to make the relationship work if you're always going to be in a long-distance relationship. Dapat may deadline kung kailan ninyo mabibridge yung gap, whether it's in the short term or in the long run. Number two, kung committed ka talaga to making that relationship work, wag dapat kayong mawala ng communication. Make sure that that is a constant. May regular kayong tawagan. Hanap ka ng mga bagay na pwede niyong pagbandingan. Pwede kayong manood ng scene together, ng sabay, kahit na magkabilang mundo kayo, kahit na hindi kayo magkasama physically. Sabay lang kayo magplay. One, two, three, play! Find common interests kung online gaming ba ito, magkakaraoke ba kayo habang naka-zoom. Things like that really do a lot to build a solid foundation in your relationship. And lastly, be honest with one another in assessing the relationship. If at any given time, you realize that this setup is not working out for either one of you, you have to be able to tell each other that. Because it's more easy when you're asked to ask or you're being asked, right? So just be honest with how you are feeling at all times. Help each other also so that both of you get what you need from the relationship. Thank you very much po sa lahat na nagpadala ng mga tanong po nila. I'm not able to answer all of the questions, but thank you so much much for sending me the questions anyway and if you like this episode please click on like and subscribe to the vlog if you haven't subscribed yet see you po sa susunod na episode